The announcement, and this is literally years in the making. I'm not even gonna try to be dramatic about this, but I've literally have been working on this for the last two, maybe three years. to the vlog you're about to witness an instant transformation because i came in here looking like a werewolf and i'm gonna leave here looking like shamar moore meets morris chestnut not morris chestnut ain't got no back in here but anyway so look guys we have an amazing vlog in store for you i got a big surprise like a big surprise something i've been working on for the last 18 months and i'm finally going to talk about it on today's vlog also we have a photo shoot I got a full body training day. I've been doing uh, Chris Jones's program, man. He, he got me right, man, but this it's has been definitely challenging me on a different level. I got baby girl with me over there. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, sir. So stay tuned. Matter of fact, watch my man work his magic. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the end of my haircut and you're gonna see my son is the truth. Alex the Barber, make sure you follow him on Instagram. My man is the be the best barber hands down in the state of Virginia, for sure, hands down. If they say you ain't clean, they lying. Exactly, exactly. all right, so watch this. Check me out, man. My man is a legend. Transformation, instant transformation. Appreciate you, bro. Every time. So we came to the beach, we're gonna film a little content for uh, Instagram. Gotcha. But I was just telling Akeem that it is now day 67 of my 90 day month mode. And I feel like I've tapped into another version of myself. Let's go. So you guys are gonna see the evolved version of Bricks. So I tell you guys all the time, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of you. The goals and the impact that I wanna make is made by a higher version of myself. And I've tapped into this higher version of myself through monk mode, through eliminating distractions. So I'm more creative, I'm more focused, I'm more efficient. I'm transmuting that energy that I would, would used to just put on, on her back or on her stomach. I'm transmuting that energy, that life force, and I'm attracting things into my life. I've attracted Nakeem into my life. I've attracted certain scenarios that are allowing me to level up. So guys, if you control your dick, and you control what you're putting into your face, you can control your reality, straight up. We just pulled up to the spot where I'm gonna be doing my photo shoot. After the photo shoot footage, that's when I'll reveal this big project. Really, I, I'm, I'm gonna reveal to them what we're working on. <laughs> since since this is a, this would be a yeah. good opportunity to do that, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So stay tuned. But now it's time to get oily. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> great. Brandon is obviously a very talented photographer. I got my baby girl with me. I'm living the dream, baby. I'm living my dream. Straight up. Look at her. Selfies all day. I'm not even taking a selfie. I'm doing a TikTok. <laughs> announcement 
And this is literally years in the making. I'm not even gonna try to be dramatic about this, but I've literally have been working on this for the last two, maybe three years. We are going to be launching a full out apparel line. But first, we're gonna start with a few merch drops. So stay tuned, you guys are hearing it first right here. The designs, tell me, tell me those designs ain't crazy, bro. Oh, they're crazy, bro. Yo, listen, nice. the they're designs, nice. the designs for the merch, I cannot wait to show you guys it. This is the official announcement. I've teamed up with Who's Johnny Creative. They're gonna be printing my shirts. They're working on the designs right now. Everything in-house right here in Virginia Beach. I'm super excited and stay tuned guys. This is about to be legendary. So look, I'm a car guy and I've been fighting the urge because I preach fiscal responsibility. I preach delayed gratification. But me as a car guy that drives a Prius and I love my Prius, when my man pulls up in this Porsche Taycan, this is Porsche's first electric car. This is supposed to be the Tesla killer. I've driven this car and it blew my mind. For all the car heads, because I'm pretty sure we got some gear heads on this that watch this channel, check this joint out. So when I first formed this vision for this perfect body, I had a six pack abs, I was lit, I was ripped, I was lean. And when I achieved it the first time, it was one of the most stressful processes that I've ever had to endure. For one, at that time, I had a terrible relationship with food. I was pretty much starving myself. Fast forward now, this is the second time I've actually been this lean and it's a little bit better, but it still sucks. Let me tell you, I don't have any balance in my life. I have, I, like this morning, for instance, I woke up at 3.30 to do fasted cardio. You think I wanna wake up at 3.30 to do fasted cardio? I had to because my schedule was gonna be so crazy today, but I had to wake up 3.30 to do fasted cardio. When I go out with friends, I gotta be the black sheep, and I don't mind, but I can't have the nachos, I can't have one nacho, I can't have one biscuit. And that honestly is not the way to live. I think honestly being ripped and having a six pack, unless you're naturally lean, I think being ripped is overrated. Honestly, if it's overrated, it's overrated. I think it's it can turn into a, an, an obsession, it can turn into um, a lifestyle that doesn't promote balance. So you're probably asking, okay, if it's if it sucks so bad, why do you do it? For me, it's a mental challenge. For me, it's an opportunity to strengthen my willpower. It's an opportunity to strengthen my discipline. Also, good for my brand, obviously, when, I, when I'm lean and I have a six pack. But it's, it's about the perspective on it. Obviously, I don't do this year round. I do understand that this is a, a pocket or a season in my life where I gotta make these advanced uh, kind of extreme sacrifices, but it's overrated guys. So when you're setting your goals, I want you to understand that there's a give and take, right? We start off, we have this vision, we, we wanna have a six pack, we wanna be ripped, we wanna look like the rock, we wanna, you know, we have this big clear vision, but understand what that vision is gonna take. And I'm not trying to discourage anybody from pursuing a six pack. I think if that's, I think every man, if, if that's in your heart to desire, I think you should pursue it. But just understand that you're probably not gonna like your life. People are probably not gonna like hanging out with you. But at the end of the day, if it's working for you, I want you to pursue it. I'm just trying to give you a heads up on that. Again, I'm built a little bit different. I think the standards that I live by, a lot of people, they don't have to live to those standards. I'm very, I'm very, uh, what's the word? I don't know, bro, I'm just different, man. I'm just different. I, I, I hold myself to an elite uh, standard. At the end of the day, if you have ambitious goals, I just want you to know what it's gonna take to reach those goals. But fitness is about 
balance. Fitness is about looking good, feeling good, while still enjoying life, guys. All right, remember that. If this video helps you at all, I want you to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Shout out to the Brick Squad. Brick Squad, check in in the comment section below. And remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So, evolve. Peace. Thank you.